what's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of xenoblade chronicles in the last episode we made our way up through tefra cave up here to the ether cylinder collection facility thing here before being attacked by some strange robots and then the mech on attacked and so now we need to head back to the colony as quickly as possible and we're simply just gonna jump all the way down here into the water don't worry you will survive just like that defense force soldier said a while back we am gonna go and because we did the achievement for making waves Shulk got a level up, or was it Fiora? I'm not sure. I think it was Shulk, actually. For some reason, Shulk's got slightly less, like, XP than everyone else for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's all about. But yeah, just simply make your way all the way back to the colony as quickly as possible. Now, you may also be tempted to warp there. Though I'm going to say, uh, during times like this, at certain moments in the game, uh, you won't be allowed to fast travel to areas. You'll have to run yourself, and uh, this is one of those times. Alright, so we'll just continue to make our way up here, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you you're going to want to go ahead and put Ryan at the front of your party for this upcoming fight. Uh, upcoming fights, I should say, because we're going to be dealing with Mech on, and uh, because the AI for Ryan can sometimes forget to use its topple ability, because the only way to do damage to uh, Mech on are from break and topple, you're probably going to switch over to Ryan. Though you don't have to do that right now, uh, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Heads up, Ryan. If this thing wants a fight, let's give it one. All right, and so this is your opportunity now to actually go in and switch over to Ryan for this fight, which I recommend doing, of course. Uh, and we need to inflict topple before attacking back on, uh, and then uh, so break and then topple. It's the only way we can do significant damage. Otherwise, we'll just be doing one damage the whole time. So of course, controlling Shulk, you have to wait, do break, and wait for Ryan to inflict topple. Or if you're controlling Ryan, you have to wait for Shulk to use turn strike, which he does most of the time. He just kind of runs through his arts. Uh, you have to be a little patient and then inflict topple with wild down. And so that's the plan here. We're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the aggro off Shulk with our new art. This is Engage, which will automatically lock any enemies in the area onto uh, Ryan. Alright, Shulk, anytime now. Anytime now would be perfect. Alright, he's got break, and then we can inflict topple. There we go, and we can do some significant damage here. And we should take this guy out pretty easily now. Disabled it, but only for now. It'll reactivate soon. Where's Dumban? He's gone. I can't find him anywhere. What? He ain't fit enough to face these things. Ryan, let's get to the lab. The lab? Of course. The Monado's there. Exactly. The Monado can take out Mechon. Alright, our destination is the lab. We'll keep running at the front of the party for now. And, uh, yeah, running away is a valid tactic. To flee during battle, highlight the talent icon and use up or down to select the flee icon. Press A to stop fighting and run away from monsters. When you do this, you will return to normal running speed, but you will be unable to attack. Alright, I'll go ahead and show it off here. If we choose to engage this mech on for some reason, all we would do is start attacking and then we hit flee. And then everyone in our party will put away their weapons and begin to run at normal speed once again so it's basically the same as if we just got attacked we just basically um get targeted by an enemy without actually fighting it um so for this area what all we're going to want to do is simply just run and keep running don't stop moving even if there's a mech on right in your path 
just head right through the area like this guy right here is pretty big mech on here just keep running avoid him at all cost and then here we are at the other end uh, of this area Colonel, the guys. I'm gonna destroy every last one of those damn mechons. Shulk, the entrance. No, we'll never get in there now. Wait, let me think here. Right, the aura. There's still the mobile artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right. This is it. Time to avenge the Colonel and the boys. She trusts me after all. I told you. All right, so it's back to just Ryan and Shulk. We've got some mech on to take care of. Like always, we're going to have to inflict break and topple on these guys in order to deal some serious damage. And while we're fighting these guys, because, I mean, we're not really in danger of dying at any point, really, I'll be honest. Uh, so I don't really have to focus too much on the fight. I would say. All right, we got to attack off on that one. I'm gonna wait for Wild Down again and whatnot. But uh, I want to talk about something really quick. So uh, you guys may remember if you watched my announcement video for this series, um, you'll remember that I talked about um, releasing a video a about an hour afterwards. Um, Setting some of the concerns I had with this game, and not really concerns to like keep people away from the game or anything like that, but just like mainly for younger audiences. And that video did go up, and it was up for a couple of hours. But uh, wait, did I never inflict topple? Did he resist it? Huh, interesting. Um, anyway, enough of that though. So uh, what is basically that video was up for just a little while. Um, but I received a lot of comments, and I mean a 
ton of comments just being very, honestly, pretty hateful uh, about like me trying to keep people away from the game, and that wasn't my intent at all in any way. So, but uh, I did want to bring that up. And uh, we got a chain attack here that we can use to try to inflict break and topple. Um, in case this guy lives, we'll use engage. Break, come on, give me another attack. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, well, anyway, I received some pretty hateful comments, all things considered, about me trying to, apparently, trying to keep people away from the game, and people were just being very rude. Um, so I eventually just decided to take the video down. And we got Topple there, and now we should be able to take this guy out. That was a close one. You were never cut out for this stuff. You go. I'll take care of things here. You're too out of breath to persuade me. Tell me about it. Alright, nothing cooler than Dunban. So real quick, why don't we go ahead and switch our party around one more time and make sure we can take care of Dunban here uh, and use the Monado a little bit. That'll help us do a lot more damage to these mech on here. Uh, but I do want to continue what I was saying just a moment ago. Uh, so basically, just people were being very rude. Uh, you know, just being out. I mean, it reminded me just of like how cruel people can be behind a screen. So I guess I'm going to use this moment as just... As a reminder to always be kind to people, you know, even behind a screen, because let's say I'm going through anything and it, I mean, yeah, it upset me a little bit, but I mean, I wasn't like that, up, I wasn't that hurt by it, um, but it was a little upsetting, I'm not going to lie, um, it was upsetting to hear people like talk like that. Nice one, Dunban. You didn't waste any time on them mech on. Shulk, where's the residential district? We said we'd meet her there. Looks like we'll have to take the long way round. All right, then we cut through the commercial district. Yes. Alright, I didn't mean to cut Dunban's voice line out there for a little bit. Um, I want to go ahead and tell you running is still a viable tactic here at this moment. Uh, but now, before I get interrupted again by more cutscenes, because there's quite a lot here coming up as well. Um, yeah, just a lot of people were being very... It was just... It was, it was disheartening to see people, like, get so upset over just a video of me wanting to explain some of the things, uh, the concerns I have. Uh, about this game like just some of the language and the little bit darker things not to say those are bad at all like I didn't that's not what I said at all a lot of people took it that way but uh, uh just for like some younger audiences people who were you know really young and maybe um wouldn't have been able to handle that as well as uh some of the older folks and that was all my intent was for that video and so I just wanted to get that out of the way and just bring that up really quickly uh so that video is no longer up. Uh, I just want to mention that I won't be re-uploading it at all. So just wanted to point that out as to why that may have happened. But anyway, let's continue. Dunban, you can't take any more of the Monado. But I must. I don't have a choice. Rhymes right. You can't go on like this. Shulk! 
is using the Monado. What was that? Shulk, more company! Ryan. Right. Ryan, stand back! <sighs> I got your back! Shulk, do you feel all right? I'm okay. But there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? See into the future? What are you saying? Uh, are you certain? Shulk. Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? Don't think about it now. To believe what the Monado showed you in fight. Alright, now it's Shulk's turn. Alright, so using Monado Arts, Shulk lost the ability to use his uh, main art that uh, also allowed him to inflict break, uh, but instead he now has access to all the Monado Arts that Dunban has. So rather than just having Monado Arts like Dunban, he still has access to his normal arts as well as the Monado Arts. Now, of course, we already know what each of these do Enchant powers up your allies and Buster deals major damage to the enemy. As long as they're mech on, of course. Alright, we can still inflict break. To do some major damage here as long as they topple we'll be good to go come on all right we'll inflict a side break here uh we'll just do a buster here and this should take care of this guy oh no it's pretty close though all right we'll take care of you maybe i should have used enchants that probably would have been the better choice here well it's a little late now nothing too much we can do here all right the backslash and there we go we probably won't get to another one. Oh, nope, it's already broken. Broken. It had inflicted break on it already. And so we were good to go. So now, we can continue on forward. Once again, just keep running. No real reason to fight these guys. It's kind of a pain to inflict in, uh, in, uh, use a Monado enchant over and over again. So just simply keep running, uh, and we'll be good to go. And we should be able to make our way inside the residential district uh, here in just a moment. Just to simply avoid these guys. They're all under-leveled. We're pretty high-leveled. Uh, in comparison, like even Dunban's like a couple levels higher than us. I think eight total. Yeah, we're level 12 and he's level 20. So we're set there. Just no reason to fight these guys. Alright, so we've got Metal Face standing in our way. And uh, yeah, as much Shulk has said that we have the Monado and it allows us to do some pretty cool things here. Uh, yeah, we're not getting much done here. Even if we use Enchant, everyone is still only using one, doing one damage. Even if we try to inflict Break here, nothing's going to work. Uh, so instead, what we need to do is outlast this guy until he uses that attack there. Mechon 
don't have that. Could... Could that light be why the Monado has no effect? Shoot! Right! Get down! Stay back! I'll take it from here! No! You can't take any more! I just... Fiora! Get back! I won't let you hurt any more people. We will save Colony 9!
Fiora. Ah, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I've forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Rai. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Have you been to see Dumban? Yeah. I just can't do it. You got more guts than me. Not at all. It was him that consoled me. Oh. I guess that's the type of guy he is. Yeah. Even without the Monado, he's the strongest person I know. Uh, Shulk, how are you holding up? I'm fine, but you... I will shed no tears. Huh? A year ago, I felt the same sense of deep loss that I do now. The Battle of Sword Valley. After that battle, many of my friends did not make it home. While I was being brought here on that stretcher, they were all I thought about. Uh. But I decided I would not cry. Everyone who died in that war had something they wanted to protect. Family, friends, loved ones, their home. So they fought to protect them. And we won. No matter how painful, no matter how hard, it's nothing to be sad about. I decided that there and then. Dumban. Shulk, Fiora would tell you the same thing. She wanted to protect us. Or rather, she wanted to protect you. And you're alive now. So, I will not cry. Okay. Remember the gift of life that Fiora gave you. And treasure it. I... I can't say that I understand. But... I hope to. Someday. That is all I ask. Believe me, I'm always just trying to understand. Treasure the gift of life that Fiora gave you. He's one of a kind, that Dunban. I've made a decision. Huh? My purpose in life. I will pursue that faced Mekon. Shulk. They attacked our colony. Kill Fiora. I will find that Mekon. Find it and destroy it. Destroy them all. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, sorry. It's just a bit weird. I never thought you'd be the one to say it. So you agree? Of course, man. I'm just surprised you came out with it first. You thought I'd try and talk you out of it. That's not what Fiora would want. That sound right? Yeah. Something like that. I thought you'd give me a hard time. In my head, there are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunban said. What about the other one? It keeps shouting, make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. And it won't stop getting louder. That doesn't sound like you. Sure, it ain't my voice in there. Might be. It's a bit of a loud mouth. There you go then. When are we heading off? Right now. Perfect. Right then. Yeah. Yes, 
soon as this heals. <laughs> 